So we've uh, rebooted, so everything is up to date. Let's check if that's true. We have uh, PKSYWay, and if nothing happens, then everything is up to date. So we've done mirror, we have an update, and we're off to go to, to install any of our desktops. So we clone from HTTPS from GitHub. We are Arch Linux with a D. We choose our own desktop. We develop. The D stands for lots of things. And we are going to install PSPWM. Yeah, PSPWM. Now, if you do a typo like this one, then you see it can't resolve GitHub app because that's another typo. It was an unintentional typo. So .com is the one that should be like so. So if you can't access anything like this one, then you should really check it again. This is just telling you that it's a typo, but it can be also something like this. And then you get this username. There is no username required. This means you did a typo. That's as simple as that. So you need to recheck and it is with an M at the end. Okay, let's CD Arco PSP WM. So this is our directory, we have changed the directory, cd, ls, give me a list, and this is what we are going to run. I'm going to make sure that all four cores are being used. That's done. And we're off to install all these things. 100 is going to give us some uh, visual things, and also PSPWM, maybe a word in the middle of the screen there. So PSPWM, that's one thing, but SXHKD. So a keyboard daemon that we are going to use. This is going to um, execute all our keyboard shortcuts, you know, Control T, terminal, yeah, that one. So we want some sound, maybe, yeah, why not? Some music, we install the sound. Okay, next up, Bluetooth in the virtual box. Not necessary, so let me skip this one. Or shouldn't I? Doesn't take that long. But it has no real use here at this point in time, so let's pretend we're on an SSD. And we want to have printers as well then. You have to, if you might need to install uh, a driver for your printer that it's still not recognized by the standard script here, but the standard uh, cups. So too bad, I am in the same situation with my Canon here. Uh, you find it on your uh, AUR. Google the name or not. Uh, actually, try send the name or Packer the name or Yahoo the name, and uh, you'll find, if you're lucky, something on the AUR. So this is about sharing. <coughs> I have to type in my password so I can share stuff with the network here locally. And then 150 to see the network, to see other computers. And then we're off installing the big bunch. So 200 is a lot of Arch software. <clears throat> Maybe you've already seen it that um, Arch has this core and extra and community, these repo things you see it passing now community, extra, core. The three are there. So the software is now coming from Arch Linux. This is the server and the software of Arch Linux. The other things that were run later, which have the AUR behind it, Arch User Repos Repository. Well, it comes from everywhere in the world. It comes from Debian, it comes from Red Hat, it comes from different places. And there are guys who say, look, I'm gonna cook a little bit, I make a recipe, technically called package build, and I put this folder there, that file there, that file needs to be executable, and I make a symbolic link there, and let's start the service, this and that. And then you get this package in Arch Linux. So that's the idea of this AUR. So people, like you and me, maintaining a script, a package build, 
to get the latest Vivaldian, to get the latest um, Spotify, etc, etc, etc. That's the fun, that's where it is, but it's unsupported by Arch Linux. It's not part of Arch Linux, that's the their vision. So things might go wrong, can go wrong, because of updates of software, and the maintainer needs to update it. And it takes a day to three days, and then it's updated unless he's sick or on holiday. So it's it's still this human factor that's in there, as always. 300 is gonna take a little bit longer, so I'm not gonna speech and wait for it to end. Bolly. We have um, improved our, our script for VirtualBox, so at some point in time in the script you'll have to decide to say yes or no. Um, so that's the idea here is to have a um, script that will allow you to switch from the Linux kernel to the Linux LTS. So people are out there using the latest kernel, which is called Linux, and the LTS is the long-term support one. So you'll have to decide uh, what you want because um, VirtualBox, well, needs to be fine-tuned, needs to be corrected if you change your kernel. So that's done. That's uh, number 300. 400 is already on its way. So you saw maybe a quick uh, glance at the uh, checkout GitHub. It's called AUR, meaning everything is coming from uh, Arch user repository. So things may go wrong. You know that at the top there is this um, set, what was it, set dash X or something. You check, could check with nano. Nano 400, you see set minus E, that's it. So if something goes wrong, it will stop. It will just stop the installation. So if you say continue with the installation, I'll check out that one application that doesn't work. This is what you need to do. And you need to control X it, yes, save it. And then you can run it again. And it will uh, immediately skip everything. Well, the, the thing that's bro broken, that's wrong, will be skipped and the rest behind it will be installed. So you see these scripts are, are neat. I mean by that, that you don't need to reinstall anything. It just checks, hey, it's there, I skip it. Hey, it's there, I, check it, uh, I skip it. So you can always try again, did I run that? That's what happens to me. Did I run 400? Because I'm always doing three, four things at the same time. And I just run the script again. I say, okay, everything skipped. This are the specific things. So what do we need specifically for uh, BSP WM to be able to run? And there are some fun things in there like the Python PyWall passes. And we'll see about that later. We need a polybar and so on. So let's wait for everything to install. Okay, that's done. So we have 500, that's the last one. If you want to know again what the next one, that's 600. 600 are actually our repos. Remember the three signs on what is Arco Linux when I explain it simply. It's Arch Linux, it's AOR, and it's Arco stuff. This is the Arco stuff, this is the last logo. All right, so that's installed. 700, let's get all our fonts in to have a beautiful system. No nice fonts, no nice system. You just do the Arch Linux way, uh, install it like that, and you'll see what I mean. It's not gonna be nice just out of the box. You need to tell and install everything. I rather want to auto log in. So my name is Eric. I log in, I buy that, I mean, and that's done. If you need, you need to have a microcode fix everything. By all means, do that. Not needed on my virtual box, but can't hurt anyway. Uh, so that's done, Eric. So let's fix now the mouse cursor that everywhere we go, that it's always the cursor breeze now. When we exit, we want to see the be log out icons and when we block the screen when we lock the screen we see a beautiful screen rather than the standard one 
that's our screen that we apply and that is that's it for for now we have this uh, personal folder for our other video but we can include a sudo reboot in this one and see what we get and then start with the other tutorial so this is as far as we get um, the only thing we do need to do to make uh, VirtualBox understand is uh, super x log out log back in and now he knows what the deal is this is my dimension my dear so there you go um, this is our standard wallpaper you can of course change all these varieties already loaded and uh, nitrogen is there you'll see okay 